the next category we're going to roll into, Blake, is going to be our submission of the year. I feel like if you have to have if you have knockouts, you're going to have to have the other finish. This some of these submissions that we saw this year were absolutely unreal. I mean, the some of the ones that I have kind of chosen for our nominees is going to be Ariane Lipsky with her kind of standing knee bar against Atlanta Carolina at uh, UFC Fight Island Two, where she, that was. The that was gross. Like honestly, I've never seen a knee bend like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, it was uh, that was one hell of a hyper extension right there. And then next one, a recent one, UFC Vegas seventeen. I have Jimmy Flick with his flying triangle against Cody um, Cody Jordan for him to be able to jump up and pull a guard run to the triangle like that. I've never seen that before, and so I have to give him a nomination for submission of the year. Next one I have is Aljo Sterling for his rear naked choke of Corey Sienhagen at UFC 250. And this is purely because it was an extremely technical choke. Like, it, it, the transition he did into it was flawless. But the shock of this and how quick he was able to do it against a solid competitor like um, Sienhagen, that's why I have this up there as a nominee. Also, the other one I have is Brian Kelleher for his um, a guillotine choke. Um, it, which was almost like a last ditch effort, kind of a comeback and a really good scrap. And for him to be able to pull that off was crazy. And I believe it's deser- deserving of the nomination. That was actually the first round. He went out and starched that guy. That was Oday, uh, Oday Osborne's debut. Osborne. And, uh, yeah, I, I can't remember the one that you're thinking of, um, but no, this one he he went out there and basically everyone was writing him off. I think he was three and three going into this fight in the UFC, and uh, you know obviously he's never really going to have the size advantage most of the time, especially if he's fighting at one forty five. Mm-hmm. Um, and so people were kind of just I, I want to say he went in there as a dog, and he went out and he went out and just took that guy to school. Brian Boom Kelleher really put it on. Um, I believe that was against. Are you are you talking about the one uh, the Ode Osborne? I was thinking of the yeah. uh, Ray Rodriguez. I mean, a couple of solid guillotine chokes this year yeah. for from him. He's had two really good ones. I mean, three wins uh, in his last four fights. His only loss being from decision, but he has a KO Cody and two Stamen, guillotines. Right? Yeah, that was against Cody Stamen, of course, yeah. a phenomenal competitor in his own right. Uh, f- fantastic pick with that one, Blake. But with this. Uh, I really do think just based off the pure shock value that it brought me in for the first time I've ever seen this, especially in UFC Octagon, call it receiving bias, but I'm going with the flying triangle from Jimmy Flick. That submission was fantastic. It really just came out of nowhere. I don't know how, you, I mean, he's, it looks almost like he surprised himself, surprised the ref with that one. And he had that triangle in there tight. Hmm. And so my award for him uh, for a submission of the year goes to Jimmy Flick. 